Hello friends, welcome back. Want to automate the email notification in your Azure function app? In this video, we will create a time triggered function that scans the database, finds new notification and calls another HTTP trigger function to send the email, all while keeping your configuration flexible and scalable in Azure. So stay tuned and come let's get started. This video is part of the full stack development video series. We were building this smart certify online certification application. And in this one, we're dealing with the Azure functions, which is specifically time triggered function. So I've opened up the project already. And the simple function that we're going to look at is the email notification timer function. So basically, if you right click and click on Azure new function, it will ask you what function you wanted to choose. So once I so once you have this name like this, and then it will ask you what type of trigger it is. So if you say timer trigger, and that is what it is going to create. All right, so I'm going to cancel this because I've already created it. So here, let's take a look. So it is basically a timer trigger function. Okay, so this is the this is the even like this is the trigger type trigger type is timer, meaning you cannot invoke it based on the configuration of the timing this is going to get invoked automatically so the function name is email notification timer function and it is having a uh, timer info so this is the default one right so the main thing that you need to understand is this one and this is called con expression the con expression is nothing but it's a time based scheduled format used in various computing system like our azure functions mainly uses this okay so the con expression is this format it's minute hour day of the month month and day of the week okay so this is the details which i will give you in the description or even the link where you can find this uh, content so don't worry about this so let's take an example right so for example if you have like the zero zero star 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 this is going to execute at the start of every hour okay and if you do like this, it is every five minutes. So these are the different examples, like when you want to invoke. So in this example, if you see the second one, every five minutes, that is what we have configured. So we have configured every five minutes. This function is going to be invoked every five minutes. That's it. This is the important thing that you need to know. Reminding whatever is inside is just a logic that you can write based on your application. So what we are doing is we are um, fetching the db context and uh, what all what we do is here we talk to this uh, table and this table has notification as zero and sent us nothing set which means these record is what it is going to fetch it is going to fetch and loop through one by one it is going to call another function here is the other function so this is the URL of the function. This is the payload that we need to send. We will just put a breakpoint here. And if you see this email notification, it's coming from the configuration. So if I go to this local settings.json, I have a configuration, which is nothing but the locally running application. Okay, so let me show you how this works. I'm going to run this. See, the application is running. Let me expand this. Okay, so we have Okay, so it almost came there. Let's take a look at this one. So we have these many functions. We have three uh, functions, which is the HTTP trigger function. And one is the timer function. See, that's why you cannot invoke. It's coming like this. Okay. So what we're doing is this function is now being executed. And this is calling this function. Okay. So where is this URL? This is the URL that I copied and pasted in the local settings here. Okay, so remember this local settings, this local dot settings or JSON will not be available in Azure portal. Like when you deploy, it is no more uh, deployed. So you need to configure those things in the Azure portal manually, which I will show in the end of this video. But let's uh, take a look at what is happening here. So it is going to, it already took uh, the notification, it's just 12 notification, and it is going to call one by one. So if I put a breakpoint here, okay the call is going to come here. So I'm going to run it. The call will eventually come here because this is calling here. See, now I will just say 
F5 and remove this breakpoint. We'll go here, remove this breakpoint and let's run this. So now if you take a look at the log, right, see it invoked these many times. Okay, it invoked all of these things, it logged everything and if I go to database now and check, okay, this will be marked as 1111. The reason why this is not marked as of this video is I intentionally commented the email signing part so so that it doesn't trigger these emails just for, you know, giving you a demo. Okay, so basically that's what we have done and um, all what we have to do is we just need to do some more configuration here. So that's it. This is very simple one. So we have an email notification timer. You need to understand about this con expression. We are running this for every five minutes and it just does some logic. In our case, it is going to talk to one of the table, fetch records, invoke another function. That's it. Okay, that's what it is doing. Now, what I was referring to is whatever is there in the local dot settings so or JSON, right? For example, here, email notification URL this you need to configure in the azure portal so if you see so this is our um, function app and if you go to this app this is what is doing right so these things right so what we have to do is you need to um, configure this one you have to go here copy this one copy this function you all you need to copy this and then come back go to this environment settings you need to have exact word like you need to have a new name created here for example what we have to do so we're going to copy this name come here to the app settings click on add put a name here copy the value of the function including the url and say apply and say apply confirm so basically we are just putting all the configuration here under the settings under the environment variables okay so this is important without this it won't work so if you're deploying this to the Azure portal, you need to make sure that you configured these app settings values here. Okay. So if you look at this, we have the value here for the email notification from and SendGrid API, all of this profile URL, everything is here. Okay. So whatever is there in the local dot settings or JSON has come here. Okay. That's how the Azure function works in the portal. Like after you deploy. Okay. So that's it guys so we learned how we were able to build the a timer function in azure and we were able to see how the configuration is made in the app settings okay so if you like this video don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe to my channel if you have any questions or comments do let me know in the comment section and also join the telegram group where we can chat lively and stay tuned for more videos and i will see you in the next video bye bye thanks for watching if you found this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more tech tutorials. And don't forget to hit the bell icon to get notified when we post new videos. If you have any questions or suggestions, leave them in the comments below. Happy coding!